everyone. Um, today we're going to do a fun short cut. Um, I'm going to cut it on dry hair and I'm going to explain the reason why is Trisha has natural curl. Um, so I always like her to dry it out the way she's going to wear it. Um, first off, because once you cut the hair it's going to shrink and natural curl always dries in, in a different way. So I always like to, to cut it dry. Uh, you can also cut it dry if you have straight hair also. I was just explaining why I do that on her. Um, back here, she's just wanting a, a tiny trim, okay? So I'm just going to come through and just barely take the edges off of this. I kind of like to chop into this so it's not a straight line. Okay, so just barely trim that. Okay, the rest of it we're also just going to trim. This front part, the top part, this, this is super fun, okay? We always like this short. So I'm going to hold up this hair, and I'm going to take my scissors, let me turn this way, and I'm going to show you, I'm just going to cut down into that. And this is what makes this, file, this style super fun, is these short, spiky pieces on top. Okay, then I like to take this, and just connect this hair back here but the rest of this she's just barely wanting a trim she doesn't want it as short so you just barely barely touch that hair with your scissors and hold it out 90 degree angle the whole way down then I always like to come um, down the middle first and then I'll show you I'll, I'll take it to the right but you just barely trim that. Let me trim this way. And on this haircut, you can have this back shorter if you want. It's depending on how much you want to style. Okay, I'm going to take it up here with these pieces. And this is long here, this is short here, this is my guide point. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to chop into this over here to this guide point. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Watch the earrings. <laughs> okay, now on the side, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hold this hair up. You're going to want to keep this longer on this side so it blends down with your side. So you're going to come on the side and then come shorter to this middle. And then that's how you connect that side with the top so the side or the yeah, the sides aren't as short. Okay. Okay, now over here, I'm going to chop into this. Okay, then you're just going to trim down these sides to the back. Remember, just hold it at a 90 degree angle straight out from the head. Okay, now you come in. Because you don't want all this the same, the same length up there, so you can just kind of chop into that. Okay, her bangs she likes longer. We're not going to take those real short. So you want to hold this hair up, and then you're going to connect this short part with this bang up here. So you just take your scissors this way, and then if you hold this straight up, then see that bang? The length won't come off of that bang. As long as you keep that straight up, that won't take that length off. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with this side. Okay, now like I said, she wants
ounce or veins longer. So I'm just barely going to take these veins and chop into them a tiny bit. Like she says, she doesn't want a lot off, but next week they're going to be too long. So she needs enough off to make a difference, but not too, too short. Okay, then just make sure that you trim these sides. Same thing, just kind of chop into them a tiny bit. Okay, now we're going to take my texturizing shears and just come up through this top just to piece it out a little bit. Let it stand up. This is what we like about this haircut is it gives it the fullness through this top when you style it, but yet she still has her length. Okay, so after you do that, I'm going to take my styling gum from Distortion. I'm going to take about that much, just rub it around, and this is the fun part, just come in and start grabbing at it. Then you're just going to piece this out. You can use a pomade or whatever. I just love this because it helps hold the hair. But it also pieces it out. It's fun to piece these things out. You would never know that her hair is naturally curly. Makes it fun. Okay, then the back. Same thing, just grab at it. take the comb, do some back combing up here, down the back a little bit, on your sides, I always like to spray underneath. inch long up on top. It's not long at all. That's what I keep talking about is that fun part on the top. Gives it the look. So this back I just comb it out. Make sure that the front sticking up and just grab at it and spray. There you have a fun, fun, cute haircut.